So we're making a foil speaker and we're connecting directly from the output on the low uh, side of the signal generator to one side of a piece of aluminium that stretches all the way across past a magnet to the other and then returns back to the signal generator. If I switch the, switch the uh, signal generator on as a very low frequency, you can see it moving up and down in the magnetic field as the current goes one direction and then the other. So if I now change the frequency, you can see that the, it vibrates more and more quickly until I get a signal that's actually at, say, 700 hertz which is sustained from the uh, signal generator, which is supplied by the signal generator. And should you decide to uh, put a, a tune from an iPhone, or in this case, a laptop, um, I'm going to just switch it on to the amplifier mode, and then generate a uh, sound. Of course, you could have some uh, music playing, but uh, I don't particularly want to get copyright infringement. Move it a bit closer, and you can see that it will work quite nicely. Now, uh, you might be wondering how I made the lead. This is just an old headphones lead, which has been stripped off, and uh, three wires connected such that the shield which is the closest one to the uh, uh, base there goes to the black and the other two go to um, the red and the blue red being the top one blue that uh, being that this allows both stereo and mono signals to be used and combining these two signals the left and right channels together <coughs> you are able to um, play on a single device and get the whole of the sound uh, from your um, music tracks through the uh, mono speaker of the, um, the mono uh, input of the signal generator.